Problem 13, we're looking at the blue cards, finding uh, the values of missing sides. So I've drawn the triangle off the blue card over here in my box, and we're going to label. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across from the given angle is the opposite, which means our third side is the adjacent. Uh, but uh, we know the opposite. We want to find the hypotenuse, and the function that relates those is going to be that sine is the opposite over hypotenuse. So when we set this up, it's going to be sine of 21 equals 11 divided by x. Again, the variable's in the denominator. So my little saying is when the uh, variable's down low, we switch a row. We're taking these two values here. We switch. So x is going to equal 11 divided by sine of 21. And then we grab our calculator and we type that in. 11 divided by sine of 21. Just checking here. And we get uh, 30.694. We're looking at the 4 to determine what to do to the 9. Since 4 is less than 5, we're going to keep 30.69. Problem number 14. Again, we can look at the um, picture or draw the picture and then we label. Starting with across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across from 51 is the opposite, which means that our last side is the adjacent. We don't know anything about the, well, we know the adjacent has a length of x, we know the opposite has 16, and the function that has adjacent and opposite in it is tangent, and it's actually opposite over the adjacent. So when we set up this function, it's going to be tangent of 51 equals the opposite divided by adjacent. Once again, the variable's in the denominator. When the variable's down low, we're going to switch a row, and we get x equals 16 divided by tangent of 51. And uh, grab the calculator, um, 16 divided by tangent of 51. And we get 12.956. Since this 6 is 5 or higher, we are going to round that 5 to a 6. So this is going to be 12.96 when we round to the nearest hundredth. Looking at problem 15. Again, here's the blue card. Um, just checking, my picture is not very good there, but uh, I do have everything in the right spots. Starting with the fact that the 15 is the hypotenuse. Across from the 25 is the x, and that's going to be the opposite, which means the side here is the adjacent. So we've got something on the opposite, we've got something on the hypotenuse, which is the sine function. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. When we set this up, it's going to be sine of 25 equals the opposite divided by hypotenuse. And what's going to happen is we're going to multiply both sides by 15. I'll write it better to see what we need to type in. 15 times the sine of 25 equals x. And we type it in. 15 times sine of 25. And we get 6.339. But because 9 is 5 or higher, we're going to say that this is 6.34.